Hi, welcome to Kraku. In this video, we'll be seeing how to solve linear equations, the basic linear equations, and how to do some cat level questions with linear equations. Linear equations is one of the most basic topics that's extremely important to know. Let's get started. So, linear equations uh, can be in multiple variables, either, either in one variable or two variable or three variable, it can go on. So, important thing to note is that uh, you need to aggregate the variable terms to one end and the constant terms to one end. Right? You can either put the variable terms to the left hand side and the constant terms to the right hand side, creating a proper linear equation which makes it very easy to solve. So, for equations with more than one variable, eliminate the variables substituting equations in their place. So, what this means is if there are two linear equations and each of them are of two variables, you can substitute one of them using the other equation, right? And we will see in the example below. So, for example, if there is one linear equation which is x plus y is equal to 14 and if there is another linear equation which is x plus 4y is equal to 26, substituting x is equal to 14 minus y in the equation 2, we will get 14 minus y plus 4y is equal to 26. And by solving this linear equation with a single variable for y, we will get y is equal to 4 and x is equal to 10. So, this is basically how you solve a linear equation in two variables. And when it's three variables, you will be given three equations for to solve. Otherwise, it's mathematically impossible. So, so, we'll look at another example, a basic one, solving another linear equation with two variables, given two equations. Let 2x plus 3y is equal to 13 and 3x plus 4y is equal to 18, right? And given that LCM of 3 and 4 is 12, we multiply equation 1 with 4 and equation 2 with 3. We will get 8x plus 12y is equal to 52 and 9x plus 12y is equal to 54. And by subtracting equation 1 from equation 2, we will get x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 3. So, this is basically how you go about solving linear equations. Let's look at some questions. So, if the digits of a two digit number, so two digits are interchanged, the value of the number increases by 20%. How many such numbers are there? So, in in such questions where you are supposed to represent a two digit number or three digit number, the way you do it is basically using as this 10x plus y. This represents a two digit number. x and y represent single digit numbers and 10 because it's in the tenth digit. So, 10x plus y represents a single digit number. Now, we are given that this is the original number. And once the digits are interchanged, the value of the number increases by 20%. So, once they are interchanged, the new number will be 10y plus x. So, we are given that the original number increases by 20% when the digits are interchanged. So, multiplying the original number with a rise of 20%, which would be 1.2 into 10x plus y is equal to 10y plus x. Expanding this, we will get 12x plus 1.2y is equal to 10y plus x. And then by solving this, we will get 11x is equal to 8.8y. Now, taking 11 common, we will get x is equal to 0.8y and then 10x is equal to 8y and 5x is equal to 4y. So, we get a relationship between x and y in the form 5x is equal to 4y. And now, we, the question is how many such numbers are there? And we see that 5 and 4 are co-prime and given that x and y belong to single digit numbers. So, 0, 2, 9. Right. The only possible solution is where x is equal to 4 and y is equal to 5, given that 4 and 5 are co-primes and this is the relationship between x and y. So, there is only one possible number and the original number would be 45 and the interchange number would be 54. So, there is only one possibility. So, the answer is B. Let's go to the next question. 
So in this question, we see that pricing of a tour has a fixed and a variable cost. That means there is a fixed cost and there is a variable cost depending upon the number of people for the tour. The average cost of a tour for 100 people is 650 rupees. That means the total cost is 65,000 bucks, that is 650 into 100. And the average cost of a tour for 150 people is 600 rupees. That means the total cost would be 600 into 150, which would be 90,000. So we need to find the average cost for a tour of 200 people. We can do this by finding the total cost for 200 people and then averaging it out for 200. So let's write up the equations. So uh, let's write fixed cost as F and as the variable cost as V and X let it be the variable is equal to 100 into 650 which would be 65,000 right and the second equation would be fixed cost plus variable again will be equal to 90,000 and we were given that X1 is the first variable is equal to 100 people and second is equal to 150. So, by writing it, we get F plus 100V is equal to 65,000 and F plus 150V is equal to 90,000. Let this be equation 1 and let this be equation 2. Subtracting equation 1 from equation 2, we will get 50V is equal to 25,000 and V will be equal to 500. Now we know V, we can find out F by substituting it in one of the equations. By doing that, we will get F plus 500 is equal to 65,000. So F would be equal to 15,000. Now we need to find the average cost for 200 people, which you can do that by just substituting the value 200, which would be 15,000, which is our fixed cost and variable cost of 500 so 200 people which would be 1 lakh which would be 1 lakh 15,000 now we, this is the total cost so we average this by 200 we will get 575 answer is c let's move on to the next question the cost of two apples, five oranges, and seven mangoes is 200 rupees. So, two apples, five oranges, and seven mangoes is 200 rupees. And the cost of three apples and five mangoes exceed the cost of six oranges by 100 rupees. So, this basically means that three apples and five mangoes is price is greater than 100 rupees when compared to 6 apples. So, this equation is 6 oranges, sorry. So this equation is 3a plus 5m minus 6o is equal to 100. So, by arranging the terms below each other, we will get 3a minus 6o plus 5m is equal to 100. We need to find out the cost of 39 oranges and mango exceed the cost of 6 apples. By how much does the cost of 39 oranges and mango exceed the cost of 6 apples? Which is basically 39 oranges and mango exceed the cost of 6 apples. 6 apples plus what? So basically we need to find out 39 oranges plus mangoes minus six apples what is the price of this we can do that by using the first and the second equation now we realize that there is a linear equation in three variables and uh, we only have two equations to solve it we can do this by when a question like this comes in the cat exam or in the mock test this means that uh, they have given it in a way such that the equations can be multiplied by certain numbers and manipulated and when subtracted or added you will get the required equation here. Otherwise to solve a three variable equation you need three different equations to solve it. So we can do this by multiplying the first equation by x and we will multiply the second equation by y. 
right? So, this equation will become 2xA plus 5xO plus 7xM is equal to 200x. And the second equation would be multiplied with y. And we want to find the values of x and y either added or subtracted where it would give us 39, 1 and minus 6 in that order. So, we can do this by 2x plus 3y is equal to what is the constant term for the variable that is apples which is minus 6. So, minus 6 and we will do the same for mangoes. So, which would be 7x plus 5y is equal to what is the variable for mangoes? It is 1. Right. So, we have two equations and two variables now which you can solve as we will take 3 and 5 that co prime. So, we will multiply the first equation with 5, we will multiply the second equation with 3. We will get 10x plus 15y is equal to minus 30 and we will get 21x plus 15y is equal to 3. Right. We will call this equation 1 and we will call this equation 2. Subtracting the first equation from the second equation, we will get 11x is equal to 33. So, x will be equal to 3 here. And now we know x, we can solve for y. So, it will become 6 plus 3y is equal to minus 6. 3y will be equal to minus 12 and y will be equal to minus 4. Now, we know that x and y and we know that they are giving the same constant terms to the variables a and m, right. By logic, it will give the constant term for the orange also the same. We can actually verify that, we will do that. So, we will get 15, right, minus 6 into minus 4, right oranges and which would be equal to 39 oranges. So, we can just multiply x with 200 and y with 100 and add it and we will see what we will get. So, 200x which is equal to 3 into 200 which is equal to 600 and then y would be equal to minus 4, minus 4 into 100 is equal to minus 400 and we get the answer as 200. So, the answer is 200. So, this is how you solve a question where they are given three variables right and they are given you only two equations they have given it in a way such that you can manipulate the equations by multiplying it and adding and subtracting the equations in the way you get the third equation which is the answer so yeah thank you